is World Menstrual Hygiene Day and joining us in the studio is Dumi Rapetswa, a senior facilitator at Amina. Very good afternoon to you, Dumi. Thank you thank so much you. for joining Thanks, us. Man. Now, World Menstrual Hygiene Day, how is South Africa doing uh, regarding this? We're celebrating it in a, a very huge way. We're celebrating the idea that um, women ought to know more about their bodies, be more intact with their bodies. Mm. And it started um, really in German um, by the WASH organization, WASH United organization, mm. to really create awareness around menstrual hygiene and um, to initiate the taboo topic uh, around it and, and to limit it rather yeah. from that. And it, it really centers around talks around support systems as well as celebrating um, dignity really mm -hmm. of women. Take us through some of the items that we have on. So the right area. here um, we have the Mina cup mm -hmm. and um, Mina is a menstrual cup. Mm -hmm. She collects fluid. She's 100% yeah. medical grade uh, silicone, FDA approved yeah. from Germany, imported um, from Germany, um, um, made in South Africa. So I'm proudly South African and she's the an, an alternative um, um, to your uh, sanitary products such as your pads and your tampons. And we're doing this because um, we really also try and impact the environment. When you mm -hmm. think about uh, pads, they take about 500 years to buy a degrade. Yeah. You know, they, t they take a while. And um, so we really look at the environment, preserving the environment. This lasts for five years, okay. if well taken care of. And also, when inserted into the vagina, it lasts for six to eight hours. Right, right. So it, it's friendly to the child. She's a she. She's an African leader, global ambassador. Right. Yeah. Now, Dumi, we hear and we hear of so many stories of girls missing out on classes as a result of uh, the, 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 the menstrual menstrual cycles. So, what's being done to help them? Well, we do training, we do facilitating, we mentor the young girls uh, about Mina and not just about Mina but themselves to really say that, you know, you are the future and this shouldn't limit you. It shouldn't say that you should put a hold on, on yourself because of menstruation, which is what's happening throughout the world. You have things happening on Instagram, um, individuals really posting the period stain sure. uh, uh, initiative just to create awareness to say that young girls should be out there, should be more active. Um, you, you hear cases in Nepal about individuals being limited to huts. Uh, when they are um, menstruating, mm -hmm. you know, so we want more young girls to be active and that's what we train them, and that's what we teach them through the MENA Cup organization. Mm -hmm. yeah. And apparently a good clean toilet at schools mean that girls can actually manage their menstruation much better, is that yeah, true? Yeah, definitely, because women need privacy, mm -hmm. women need sanitation, they need water, they need uh, basics just to, to, to survive. It's about restoration of dignity, and that's what we need, and that's the awareness that we're trying to create uh, through Menstrual Hygiene Day. And how are you taking such awareness to the uh, disadvantaged or the rural folks? Well, we work with NGOs, we work with um, companies as well uh, as an initiative to really uh, give the cups to our beneficiaries. Okay. And also we held an event yesterday yeah. to celebrate um, um, our one year as well as our Menstrual Hygiene Day. We had a, a, a chai fundraiser, we raised about 100,000 rand. So this is about the girls and it's also yeah. about facilitation and training. Yeah. That's yeah. important, that's crucial. Young girls need to know more about their bodies. They need to realize that they are majesty and um, that they, they, they should be dignified. Indeed, indeed. So do you give them out for free? We do not give them out for free working with NGOs and uh, well to the kids yes okay. but working with NGOs um, it costs it comes with the diary it comes with the sanitation and it comes with a cup for 200 rand and uh, we work with the NGOs as well as companies and then they, we give it to our beneficiaries and we teach them more about their body we teach them how to calculate their cycle they get to know about puberty about growing up mm -hmm. that's what it's about because oftentimes this is deemed awkward. Mm -hmm. They get to know about sexuality, pregnancy, what that means, and, and how to plan for a better future. Do you think this initiative will be much more effective than especially in the rural communities if it comes at a, at a price? In terms of? In terms of pricing, in terms of price, because they can't afford such. They can't afford, hence why we're, we're urging NGOs to, to contact us. Okay. Hence why we're urging companies to, 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 to donate 
as right. well to make this their uh, initiative. It isn't free, but to the girl child, this is free. This is what them. they need. Okay. And uh, this is an alternative that's lost. This is cost efficient. Yeah. It's flexible. It's comfortable. We give them training um, in terms of how to use the cup, how to fold it, how to fit it, how to clean it. Okay. It becomes, th that's, that's very important. It becomes very efficient for the young wow. child. Wow. Yeah. All right, Dumi, thank you so much for your time. Thank Great you for having me. Thank All you right. for having me. That was uh, Dumi Rapetso, a senior facilitator at uh, MENA, uh, just uh, in celebration of uh, World Menstrual Day. All right, let's take a short break now. And uh, before we go to the break, let's now move on to the Weather Center.